Hi, this is Asin. In this video, I'm going to share two methods that can help us to transfer data from one user form to the other. Let's proceed to the coding part. Go to Developer tab and look for WeShare Basic. I have two user forms. One is to record the total sales of each product and the other is going to record the commission and percentage that wanted to be paid. Under the properties window, we look for the show model. We change the show model to false for each user form. And we just have to double click on the command button of each of the user form to write the code. And for the first user form, I'm not going to record all the values that are available on this user form, but I will just call user form two. After that, the recording process is going to be done in the second user form. Once this is being called, then we are going to record the value. So we set dummy, let's say A is the value on the text box one of user form one. So user form one dot text box dot value. We can copy, paste, and paste. All together we have one, two, three, three text boxes. So we should have one, two, and three. So we change character A, B, C, text box one, two, and three. Now we are going to unload user form one once we already recorded all the values. After that, we can record the value on the text box of the user form 2. So we can have D is equal to user form 2 dot xbox 1 dot value. After that, we can unload user form 2 and we can Tell what is the amount that we are going to pay using message box. So we can make formula. So the commission based on the total amount of sales. So we have to take A plus B plus C. Then we times this is in percentage form. So we have to convert to decimal point, which is D divided by 100. Or what we call proportion so we can end our message box or if let's say we want to round to a particular decimal places we can make use of the round so maybe we just want one decimal place okay let's see the result so we back to excel then for the input we are going to call the user on one okay now back to excel remember to unclick the design mode so that we can call the user form so we will going to put in the value one two three done then we call the commission let's say we just want to give 10 percent and calculate unfortunately as we can see this is one two three Point three, which is wrong. This is because we go back to Visual Basic. As we can see, what we recorded here is the text box value. By default, the value that recorded is in terms of string, since this is text, not number. That's why it's wrong. We can make use of a simple method, we just have to plus zero to convert text to number. So we just have to plus zero, plus zero, and plus zero. So let's try again back to Excel input. So we are going to input one, 
two and three done then commission one percent or ten percent like just now so calculate so this time will be 0 0.6 which is correct some might not wish to have so many user forms appear on the same screen as it looks like very messy then what we have to do here is in the user form to itself we look for user form then under the procedure we look for activate which means that as long as once the user form to is being called we have to do something so for the user form click we can delete since we are not going to use it then we cut starting from a until unload user form one and we paste it here as long as it's activated then we have to record all the values record all the values then after we recorded the values then we have to close the user form and press it to the command button and we do the calculation but that is a problem let's check so we back to excel so we are going to call the user form one again we input again one two and three done then as we can see automatically unloaded then we put in the commission in percentage then we calculate unfortunately we will obtain zero this is because whatever information in the user form one already lost as long as we are loaded so what we have to do here is if let's say we want to transfer the values from one procedure to the other procedure then we have to make it publicly used so public a as we can use double since a b and c are numbers if i say we already define as number then do we have to plus zero actually no need because it's already defined as number excel already know this must be a number then if i say we don't want to define d then doesn't matter then we leave plus zero we can copy and paste for b and c C, so we change A to B and to C. Now check again. So we back to Excel. So input, we are going to put in the numbers. Done. So as we can see, only one user form left, the other unloaded. Then we want 10% commission and we calculate. As we can see, this is correct. Let's check again. So we use different numbers, see whether our result is correct. So 10, 20, 15, done. Commission, let's say only 2%. Okay, as we can see, this is 0 0.9. Okay, this is correct. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.